Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. I was sent another handheld radio. I've been sent lots of handheld radios, and I've been using these in giveaways, and sometimes I give them away up at club meetings and so on. But uh, this particular one is interesting because you can program it from your phone via Bluetooth. And if you plug your phone into your computer, you've got a nice little connection there too. Now, as it turns out, of all things, we've got Chirp. We'll also program it. So that's this right here, the TDH3 two-way radio. So let's take a look. Now, now we're going to do this review in two parts. I'm going to do the part where we just look at the radio. And then another video will look at the programming of it. I spent a lot of time working on the programming and I still have a little bit to learn about that. Let's do the unboxing. The radio itself is quite small. But if you look at it from the top, it's not quite as thick as it is wide, but it is kind of roundish. Okay, it's a little, little thing. Um, some people really like the little radios. Now, this is FM only, okay, so it doesn't do DMR. And you put the antenna on it, you turn it on, and I think it's been on, which is why, there we go. And so this gives you the chance to do the standard things like frequency mode, channel mode, or it says here VFO, or memory recall mode. It's got a nice color screen. It's got all your buttons, although they're really tiny, and uh, a nice button to go between VFO and memory, and it's got a Bluetooth uh, on the thing too, okay? So let's take a look at what comes in the box. We've got the charging. Now again, everything in ham radio seems to be going to five volts. We've got a charger here that you can plug into the wall. And this is a standard USB-C cable, all right? And you can plug that in to the charger base or directly into the battery right there. So you've got multiple options. I think we're gonna start seeing these come without the charger bases, but maybe not yet. I think some people just have this idea fixed in their head that there is a, there's going to be a charger base. Here's your belt clip. Here's your little loop for your wrist. And if we lift this out, we have a much bigger antenna that comes with it too, okay? Now the antenna is much bigger than the radio itself, all right? Now, I've been looking at this for a while and so here are some of the things I've seen. Now, a couple things I always do with radios. One is to check the FCC ID number and see if it's real. And it is in this case. It reveals all the appropriate information. And so you can actually go in and look at the filing and find all of the pictures of the internals of the radio and the test reports and so on. Also, as I noted, you can charge the battery via USB-C making the charging stand sort of superfluous. But you can use that if you want. It's a place to stand the thing up. It sort of sits between the USB-C and the bottom of the battery or the bottom of the radio. So there it is. Now the flashlight on this thing, I really love that these things come with flashlights because if you're using a radio for emergencies, what do you need in an emergency? You need a flashlight. Okay, this thing provides one. It's very broad beam. It doesn't just put a little spot of light on the far wall. It'll cover up a large room and it's reasonably bright. Now it has the Kenwood style headphone jack for headphone and earphones so that you can communicate with it for programming it. Plus you can use the USB-C port to communicate with the radio for programming. Now, I put this thing on the spectrum scope, okay? I used it with uh, my spectrum analyzer over there, and the 70 centimeter band is great in terms of 
harmonics. The two meter band has lots of energy in the harmonics, but not so much as to take much away from the energy that's in the two meter band. And I think we have about a 30 dB down. Well, 30 dB down is one thousandth of the amount of power. So almost all the power does go into the carrier. I tested a radio once before when there was more power in the second harmonic than there was in the fundamental. That is not the case here. Okay, now it has all the usual front panel controls, direct frequency entry and VFO mode, and a change, an easy change, between VFO and memory recall. Now this is a nice little radio. One of the problems with the thing uh, having this color screen here is that when the screen goes completely blank, uh, you can't see it at all. There's nothing that you can see in the sunshine or anything like that. I changed the time limit and how long it takes for that thing to shut off so that it would be a little bit longer because you can't read a thing right there. So uh, it also has lots of the usual built-in features. Now what I'm going to do is another video on this where I am going to thoroughly explore the programming of this radio. I'll try and have this come up fairly early because the first time I tried to do it, I thought I had everything set up and then suddenly everything disappeared. So we'll, <laughs> we'll try that again. But I did want to tell you about the radio. It is out. Let's see how much it costs. All right, we looked it up on Amazon. It's $36. So here's a radio that's a nice little workmanlike FM only radio, dual band, and it is programmable via your phone or via Chirp. And I've looked at both before they do work, but like I said, I want to get a little firmer grasp on that. And I'll come back to you with another video in uh, a week or so, and we'll talk in more depth about the, the programming. So $36 on Amazon, good buy, and it has good fair output specs on uh, that. And almost all of the radio power goes into the fundamental. So with more to come. Yes, this looks like a cool radio to get. Again, a reminder, they did send it to me for a test. So I didn't pay for this radio. They sent it to me for test. So until we next meet, 73.